Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. How are you doing? I'm gonna start talking before I start recording. Um, welcome back to the adventures of Emperor Hermes of Carpathia. I always want to say king. So what I was looking at right now is tech. We have a couple different problems we're dealing with. Um, a minor one is we are fighting a war in the east. We're going to win that soon. Soon we'll have finished the siege here. But in the meantime, I want to spend some tech points on construction so that we can lower the build time and cost of things we build. Because we're building new cities, we want to start building more castle upgrades. We have another bigger problem, dangerous faction-wise, is the independence faction is over 100% now. That isn't good. So let's find somebody in here and see why they're mad. Um, we'll use High Chief Kurel. He's mad that our personal domain, our domains, is too big. That happened recently. You can see we are 7 out of 6 because uh, Hermes got too stressed. He had the uh, focus of rulership, but he got too stressed, so he switched to drinking. Actually, he ought to take some boys drinking is what he ought to do. Um, so that's part of the reason. And then the other reason, faction-wise, is um, we can look at whoever. Um, they're mad that we have a female heir. He hasn't had any sons yet. Right now, if he were to die... His daughter, um, Princess Emmy, would inherit. She is strong like bull and the child of a concubine. So what we're going to do is lower our demands, our personal domain holdings. We're going to give up Hum. We've had that for a long time, but we haven't spent any money to really upgrade it because we've spent all our money on wars and stuff. So let's go find somebody... I was going to say who's deserving, but the way our family is, we don't actually give it to deserving people. We use nepotism to give it to people. Um, just randomly scroll and find some kid that looks cool. What about you, Harana Namir? Oh, well, I don't know. You're dead. No. We want somebody who's not likely to inherit something himself. Not you, Radu. Come on, some of you have got to have dads. They're just like common dudes. What I'm looking at is right there, their parentage. That or I need to find somebody who's got a lot of siblings. What about you, Vatislav? You've got a bunch of siblings. Let's see, is he going to inherit Pest? Yeah, he's in line for that. Well, actually, we could look at his brother. Wait, why is he going to inherit Pest? I thought it was the youngest. I'm getting confused. What about this old bastard? Hey, yeah, you! Yeah, you may not be a kid, but that's alright. We will grant you. Because he doesn't have anything. What was I going to give him? Oh, hum. I will grant you hum. He's like, oh, sweet! See, this is really like a, a pick-me-up story. It's kind of like a rom-com. He's like, no women like me. I'm like, dude, we will make you over. First of all, I'm going to give you hum. You got a castle. Oh, sweet. We're going to give you a haircut. Sweet. Now let's find you a lady. Um, we want one for... What was your name? What? I can't find one for you? Whatever. Problem solved. He's like, I thought you were going to find me a girlfriend. Shut up. <laughs> and, um... This guy is the duke of this area, I guess. We will transfer vassalage to him. Boom. So now, uh, this guy, who we just appointed, he will report to this dude, Chief Sermon. That'll help us some with the vassal count. We're still trying to get it down again. And it should help some with this duchy, because whoever has been in charge of this... Duchy chiefdom. They're angry because they wanted Hum to have like the complete set, like Monopoly. Look, this guy loves us now. He's like, hell yeah. Alright, let us look at the... Oh man, look at all these guys that want to revolt. I wish I had a reason to imprison or declare war on any of them. Alright, how's the war going in the east? Oh, we're getting there. My biggest concern about if a uh, giant revolution starts is our retinue is way in the east. And uh, I don't care about these guys usurping territory. And our homeland is right here. 
My wife, Odola, has complained about me being absent so often, and so when I found out that I had some extra gold to spend, I decided to buy her something nice. Um, I don't want to spend too much. We used to be greedy. Let's buy her a bracelet that would bring out the color in her eyes. How much does she like us right now? A little bit. She's like, hell yeah! I'm like the dark, cold eyes. I mean, Jules, like your eyes. Whatever. <laughs> oh, this uh, tribal area is about to fall to us. Victory! We're at 72% war score. Honestly, now, why don't we just go attack these other guys, or at least free ours? Um, how's our... What? Did we just inherit something? I think somebody died. Oh, we became the something of bowling? Where is it? Right here. Oh! Nobody died! We finished building the new city! Hell yeah! That is sweet! Alright, so we're gonna not do that. I keep forgetting the buttons on that. We're going to rename this. And we're gonna... Because Hermes is awesome. He's gonna name it after his daughter. Emmy... Sylvania. Yeah, it's gonna be Emmy Sylvania. He likes that. Uh, we will build a town market for them. Wait a second. Uh, let us appoint a mayor first. All right, there we go. Now we've got a mayor in charge. Mayor Butt Muck. Mayor Butt Butt. <laughs> Whatever. We're going to have them build a town market. We're going to pay for it. Um, that'll help us bring in some more money. In fact, we're going to do that in Sophia and Dictopia too. Um, pay for a town market. Uh, does this place need a town market? No, they've already got all the upgrades. That mayor has done all those things on his own, which makes me glad to hear. Uh, how much should it be for a new city here? Oh, the price went up. I did not expect that, considering we increased our construction tech. Whatever. Maybe certain areas are more expensive than others, like this is a very good place with a hill. I don't know. Either way, that's good, though. We, we've, we've got a city built. Still got way over our vassal limit. We're just too successful at war. Yeah, these guys are going to come up here and try and save Mar 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 Maram. We're going to wait until they get up in there, and then we'll probably just come in there and crush them. You never should have stood against us. You should have just accepted uh, our superior ways. Yeah, let's just wait. Once they go in there, we'll just go attack them. End the war. My lees, my mission to Constantinople has been so far a success. Um, the little emperor, Emperor Petronius uh, the second, likes you. I gave him slap jobs. Can't slap the emperor, kid. He's two. He's two. He's not going to remember. That's not right. <laughs> Our brother, the king, um, King Sava of Magyard... Who's one of the people who are um, who is dangerous in the independence faction? Oh, thank God they went down to eighty-five percent. Probably because we gave up the one territory. Where are the freaking dipshits? Oh no! It is time for you to recognize. This is from this asshole Dominic, who led one revolution long ago. He's like, it's time for you to recognize the full independence of Greater Poland and the other states in the independence faction. I will not be blackmailed, son. Um, that means it's about to get going. It's going to be on like Donkey Kong. Who is all going to leave? Well, you know what else we're going to do? Dominique of Carpathia, um, of the Carpathian Revolts, declared the third Carpathian Revolt Independence War. So that means there's been several. Uh, and he's no longer my chancellor, because he had been. All right, we'll put in a new chancellor. Uh, let's see. This guy wants to be... No, we'll put this guy in. He's related to us. We'll send him to the Byzantine Empire. The Emperor. We can give some people titles, apparently. Because they're going to be people who are leaving us. 
for their damn rebellion. Uh, we will give this to this guy because he's a count or a chief. I'm sorry. We're going to raise up, raise up, raise up our personal armies and have them meet in the capital. Um, these guys can go home. I'm super confused. Where are the rest of the rebels? Um, okay. Maybe they have more troops that I don't know about? <laughs> I'm a little confused. I expected all these areas to go too. So let us raise up as many of these bastards as we can. I say this time I should leave it in prison, but I don't know. You know, okay, let's move all these guys right into here. And then while we're at it, we'll raise these troops over here. Better safe than sorry. And then one of these dinguses has a ton of troops. I think it's right, right there. Oh, I don't know. Whatever, good enough. Yeah, we'll move them all there into Carpathia. Well, why don't we take these guys too? Might as well. The Duchy of Kiev. So many wars. I'm <laughs> so sick of internal wars. Alright, we, we definitely want to win this war in the east and then pull the retinue in. Um, how many troops do these bastards have? Man, we gotta get our armies there as soon as possible. Large bands of rebels and opportunists are flocking to the banner of the faithless traitor, Dominic. Dominic, let's see, you have two counties. Alright, you have a duchy and a county left. If I win this, if I can, I'm taking your county from you. If I'm smart, I'm gonna leave you... Oh man, he's got a real army he's raised. Almost 5,000 strong. Come on, we need to end this war here in the east. Come on, Retinue, you need to win that war... Then we need to be able to bring those troops over to the uh, east. In fact, can we raise these guys up? How many you got? 342? Um, send them back down. I don't want them to accidentally get killed. We might raise them back up later. Uh, almost 5,000 guys there. Yes, we'll bring you guys into. Oh, they're raiding our territory, those bastards. Oh, well. Oh, there's a battle in the east between our retinue and uh, whoever these guys are. They're the guys we're fighting for Maram. My liege, my mission to... I don't have time now, Chancellor. I just got hired. You don't have to yell at me. Shut up. I'm fighting a war. Go away. I'll talk to you later. Boom! 100%. We have finished the war in the east. Not the one against the rebels, but against Muram. Emperor Hermes the Sword has conquered another place. We are going to give that to somebody. Um, I, w I would like to imagine he has a wheel he spins. He's just like, spin the wheel! You get one. Radu, you win Mur Muram. And then while we're at it, we're going to transfer uh, your vassalage to this guy. It'll make Old Man McGee even more loyal to us. And that helps us with our vassal limit. We're way under the vassal limit right now because of the war, actually. Oh, come on. we got to get these armies up here. Merge. Feel the urge to merge. They've got 5,000 guys. Sooner or later, we are going to have to start sieging their territory, or we're going to be in trouble. But we should be able to start sieging Bransk out here. I mean, I guess that's the one advantage that our retinue was in the east. In fact, while we are at it, um, let's raise some local troops. 
We'll put them right on the border, and then they can join the retinue as well for the siege. All right, we got about 4,000 guys there. Oh, man, they got like 6,000. I don't like that. 7,000. We should have more guys, assuming we can get the army there in time. A truce is expiring with King Kitten, the adorably cute, the wise of Lithuania. We already took much of his kingdom. I would like to take his capital, though, because then we could give it to the guy who controls that area. Who probably won't control that area anymore after the war, because people are going to be losing some more titles. Sons of bitches. Oh, did our brother go? I think he did. Where is he? He's a king. King Sava. Yeah. I guess sooner or later that was going to happen that our king was going to, or brother king was going to do that. Oh man, we should go after this army. I think we're going to do that. We're going to get in Bryansky there. Uh, yeah, Bryansk. Move the rest of you guys under there. Oh, maybe you shouldn't. There aren't enough. Butts McGee. Oh, they're coming at us. Bring it, son. You're going to get schooled. We're going to wreck you hardcore. Um, let's move these guys right there. In fact, if we're going to do that, let's put an army there. And by an army, I mean we need some real commanders. Where are you going? Oh, Paul? All right, we're going to have everybody meet right there. Hopefully we can defend in the mountainous region. I think that's mountainous. I could be wrong, but whatever. That's the commanding um, leadership you can expect from Super Bowl games. Yeah, I don't quite know what we're doing, but whatever. We'll figure it out. It instills confidence on a, you know, I don't know, daily, hourly, secondly, millisecondly uh, amount. That's the way you measure sex. I think Hermes does. That's why he doesn't have any more. His wife's like, do you want sex? Oh, you said sex. I just myself. That's why we don't have no babies. Sorry. Maybe we could try for sex later. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> oh, look at these bastards trying to run. Well. Oh, we don't have commanders in these areas. Why don't we? I should have double checked. I figured the top three commanders would have been in charge of our retinue. That's why I didn't appoint them to the other army that I just appointed uh, leaders to. Either way, it looks like we're going to win this. Yeah, suck it, rebels. You're all going to rebel hell. You can do your rebel y'all there. Victory. I mean, it's way too early to know what's going to happen. But I got to admit, we're off to a better start than I thought thought it was going to be. Oh! And we've got an army fight here in the uh, west. Uh, we're on the top here as the attackers. Um, they are the defenders there. Apparently they beat us too there. But we got more reinforcements coming up, as do they. Oh, dear. Come on, get these reinforcements up. Oh, this is not going as well as I'd like it to. Come on, get these reinforcements in. Where are they going to be on there? The ninth? Uh oh, we are outnumbered. What the hell is this shit? Okay, now we outnumber them. Oh man, is everybody up there that can be? Our commanders are not doing a very good job. I thought we were going to beat them there. Oh, come on, we got to break their flank. This is brutal. They might break our center before we break their flank, though. Well, some commander died. Let's appoint another one as quickly as we can. Uh, you look good. You're a commander now. Good luck. Oh, man, our center is going to go. Come on, we got to break their flank. Oh, we did. We broke their flank. Come on, we got to flank them. Oh, they broke our center, though, at the same time. Man, this is a knockdown, dragout fight. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Are we going to pull this off? We got the better morale. We broke both of their flanks. So many people died in this battle. This is a huge battle. Oh, I think we're going to just pull off the win. Victory! Oh, my God. That was horrible for the kingdom. All right. Let us merge the troops. 
They are going to go into Krakow, Krakow, or Krakow. I thought it was spelled with the W, but whatever. Krakow. 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 All right, we're trying to chase them down. Holy crap, that was a brutal fight. Man, we lost so many troops, as did they. We have a harder time with our own people that we're fighting. Oh, man. It's going to take us forever to get the money to rebuild this army. This son of a bitch. This guy has been nothing but problems. All right, so we got their left flank busted, the right flank busted. Come on. Kill these sons of bitches. How dare they try and, you know, destroy the Carpathian Empire. We are already at 32% war score. Defeat? Oh, victory! They must have sieged somewhere. Alright, they're going to Zerk. Let me chase them down. Oh, where the hell did these guys come from? Alright, we're going to merge these armies. Actually, we're going to split them in half. We're going to take half and move them over here. Out of curiosity, Dominic, how many army troops do you have? You actually have less than us. Excellent. Come on, let's go find his army and hit that too. Man, it is tough being emperor. Our biggest threat, and I'm not trying to jinx herself, tends to be more often than not, not enemies from without, but enemies from within, our own people. Prepare to get stomped in the buttocks. Yeah, you think you can run. Good luck, son. They already don't have a center. Uh, we're definitely taking a penalty, as you can see there, from crossing the river. But that doesn't really matter hugely to me. Because these guys that we're chasing down are, you know, they're basically routing. Are these like raiders or... Um, oh, they're just raiders, yep. You can tell they're raiding because of that little symbol there. But I wasn't sure if they were, like, raiders from the rebels or just a different raider group. All right, where do you think you're going now? You think you're going to this place? Fine, we'll chase you down. 42% war score already. And we are sieging both of these places. Oh, shit. Ah. <sighs> Seduction in the wild, my concubine, Zababa, has informed me that Chief Garber of Spies has tried to recruit me in a scheme to seduce my wife, Odolo. Uh, I don't... Who, that guy? Really? He's like, I want to fuck your wife, dude! Why does he hate us? Oh, because he's their rival. He's like, I'm your rival, I'm going to put my dick in your woman to prove dominance. Um, they're trying to move an army here to attack ours. We're going to send the other half of the retinue back to reinforce it. And maybe next time they'll fight. Maybe they'll stop attacking. I don't know. Either way, hopefully next time we'll break the back of this rebellion. Oh, these people, they can't behave, I swear. Sorry if the mic got weird there. I'll see y'all next time.